Hey everybody, my name is Brad Sinclair with Remax Eastern. I service the city of Peterborough, Selwyn, and area. Hey listen, uh, this is my very first video, so bear with me. It's probably going to be pretty rough and I might stumble a little bit, but just bear with me. This is going to be a new video series that I'm going to be introducing once a week or maybe even two times a week. Hints and tricks on uh, selling your house. Um, uh, may even talk about what's going on in the community and issues that are around the community. So we'll work away at the content, but a lot of the times the content is going to be, um, which is going to be generalized for the real estate market. So if you don't live in my servicing area, that this content will be work for you uh, as well. So again, my name is Brad Sinclair, and thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Hey listen, today's um, video is going to be about why my house did not sell. It was listed, it was marketed by the realtor, uh, had a bunch of people through, and it never received an offer. What is wrong with my house? Well, um, I'm going to try and explain to you why your house didn't sell, and I'm probably going to be spot on because it's used the exact same reason why every house doesn't sell. And it might be your fault, it might be the realtor's fault. But here's the fault. And the fault comes right down to the number one reason is, is the price. Your price was too high. Come on, think about it. If your house was listed $100,000 less than what, what you're asking for, I bet you it would sell. So that has always to do with with why things aren't selling is, is price. Okay. So how do I get a price right? Is the number one thing you need to get done is do getting a, a good professional realtor come in and do a comparative market analysis and what that is is taking the housing market and what has currently sold within the last few months what is currently on the market and what has expired you'll take from those prices the best average price of your house okay now guys what you need from the sale of your home means absolutely nothing to the buyers, okay? Think of it, if you're looking for at a house, would you overpay the buyer because he needs the extra $50,000? He's a real nice guy. Yes, but it ain't gonna happen. You may laugh, but this is what sellers say to me all the time. I need this money out of it. Well, you're not gonna get what you need. You're gonna get what the market bears for the price. Now, that might be what you need, but it very well might not be. So it's going to be a decision whether you're going to sell your house because you may not get what you need. So don't put on the market and, and then blame somebody later down the road because it didn't sell because you didn't get what you needed, okay? Ego also gets in, in the way of a lot of people. I hear a 10, my, my neighbor, he sold for $300,000 last year. My house is so much better. Um, I need to get $350,000 for my house. Hey listen, everyone thinks their house is the best one on the street. I think my house is the best one on the street, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to get so much more than the other people on the street, okay? Another reason that your house do not sell is the product could be an issue. Your home must be clean and tidy for all showings, and the curb appeal must be at its best all times. You cannot let the lawn grow and to be up your knees and oh my goodness I gotta show you and try and hack it down. People have gone by your house all the time and that's the first thing that they see is that the grass is long, your first opinion is and they don't take care of the property. So you need to keep things neat and tidy at all time, especially outside. Alright? Um, I also say to my folks, make sure that the front door is uh, is entrance area is really clean and tidy. Listen, the very first thing what happens when a realtor goes to show a house is he's opening up the lock box. So he's at the front door fumbling with the lock box. What is the buyer doing? Their buyer is looking around. If there's paint peeling, if there's cobwebs, again, first impression. Okay. So you're saying, okay, Brad, you blame the seller enough. When is it the realtor's fault? The realtor has many blames here as well because the house hasn't sold. Here's what the realtors can do wrong right from the start. In my profession, I know that the sellers do not always have the, the, the have always priced the house. Sometimes the realtor does. And I've seen it when the, the seller thinks of listing the house for 200, but the realtor comes in and says, put 250, $250,000 house. You're saying, wow, what a great, I'll get an extra 50 G's. I'm going to hire this guy. You know what? 
I, unfortunately, I think that realtor is just telling you what you want to hear or, or taking it down a rosy path just to get the listing. And in my profession, we call that buying the listing. Hey, listen, guys, thank you very much for watching this. Many more videos to come. And make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe.